Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing a very important proof in number theory. Now, this statement says that if C divides a bunch of integers AI, including A1, A2, A3, all the way up to however many AIs you need, AN, I guess. If C divides all of those integers, then C also divides any linear combination of those integers, which is a really important fact. So as the hint so as the problem says, we're going to have to use mathematical induction. So let's start with our base case. This is when n equals 1. So let's verify that this statement is true, that this whole statement right here is true when n equals 1. So in this case, that means that c divides a1, and that's it. So now that we know that c divides a1, this means that there exists some integer k such that a1 equals c times k for some integer k. Okay, but then we can multiply both sides by ui. So that means a1 u1. We're going to specifically work with i equals 1 since n equals 1, and we're going from i equals 1 to n equals 1. So that means we only have one u. It's u1. So a1 times u1 equals cku1. So I just multiply both sides by u1. But this means that c times some integer equals a1 u1. And that just means that c divides a1 u1. Now we're not done yet because we just proved the base case. So now let's do the inductive step. All right, so we're gonna assume that if C divides all AI and UI, all right, so we're gonna assume that if C divides all of the AIs and UI is an integer for all I's, then C divides all the linear combinations of AI times UI then C divides every linear combination of AI. So we're going to assume that for some fixed K, really emphasis that K is just a fixed integer. It's arbitrary. It's completely arbitrary, but it's fixed. It's not a variable. It's a constant in this case. So we're going to assume that we're fixing K. We're also going to assume that if C divides all of the AIs, then C divides all of the linear combinations of the AIs. Now, this is not assuming the conclusion. I know it looks like we're assuming the conclusion, but I really want to stress this last portion here for some fixed K. So we're not assuming the conclusion is true for all K. We're assuming that this statement is true for just the one K, whatever K is. Now, I want to clarify that this K is not the same thing as the K above here. Uh, that was just my mistake of not using letters properly, but you can kind of get the picture. So now consider the sum from i equals 1 to n equals k plus 1 of a i u i. Well, I can rewrite this as the sum from i equals 1 to n equals k of a i u i plus a k plus 1 u k plus one. Now, here's the cool thing. By our assumption in the inductive hypothesis, we get to assume that what's circled here is divisible by c. We also know that a k plus one is divisible by c, which means that this whole thing is divisible by c. And since both of these are divisible by c, then the entire summation is therefore divisible by c. But let's prove that. So since C divides the summation from I equals 1 to N equals K of all the terms AI, UI, then that means that the summation is equal to C times some integer. We'll say X this time. And that X has to be an integer. Okay, that's good. We get that by the inductive hypothesis. So that right there is because that if C divides all of the AIs, which we know that C divides all of the AIs here, then, and all of these UIs are integers, then by the inductive hypothesis, this should be divisible by C. 
Now, up next, we're going to now prove that a sub k plus 1 times u sub k plus 1 is also divisible by c. So since c divides a k plus 1, that's the assumption, then that means that a k plus 1 equals c times y for some y that's an integer. Okay, so now we can rewrite the summation here. So earlier we had the summation from i equals 1 to n equals k of a i u i plus a k plus 1 u k plus 1. We can rewrite this as c times x plus c times y times u k plus 1. But we can factor out that c and turn this to x plus y times u k plus 1. And now we factored out our c. So this means that c times some integer here equals this entire summation right here, which is exactly what we wanted to show. We wanted to show that this summation, this entire summation, is divisible by c. And so this means that c divides the summation from i equals 1 to n equals k plus 1 of a i u i. And so this means that by mathematical induction, c divides the summation from i equals 1 to n of a i u i for all n. And that's with the assumption that c divides all of the a sub i's. And so that finishes our proof. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.